Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about backslashes, a character in Python source, and why I don't use them. Well, there's a little asterisk. We'll we'll get to that later on. Uh, but first, I want to show you how they work and why I find them almost entirely unnecessary. Uh, all right, we're going to actually make a Python file today, since it's a little bit easier to demonstrate that. Uh, when you're writing out source, uh, you can use a backslash to avoid uh, a line continuation ending a statement. I guess I'll just show you, like, if we didn't have a backslash here, uh, in some programming languages, especially those that aren't controlled by whitespace, uh, you are allowed to put a new line after assignment or you know, any other thing like that. Uh, and this would be valid syntax. In Python, this is not valid syntax until, you know, years from now they change this and I'm wrong uh, due to the pig parser being magical and something. Anyway, this is not valid syntax. You can put a backslash here and that will allow the parser to ignore this new line as an end of statement and instead continue onwards and parse this as uh, the end of statement here. Uh, you can, in fact, put a backslash here too as well. Uh, and if you have enough new lines after the backslash, it will parse properly. Uh, but this is actually one of the things that I wanted to show you and one of the reasons why I find this really annoying. This is a, an edge case that you're probably not going to run into, but a backslash at the end of the file is going to be a problem. Anyway, I don't use them because I find them ugly and I find that there are many other ways to write this which doesn't require you to have uh, a backslash here. Now, I wouldn't actually write this particular statement like this because it's you know, very short. I would just write x equals three. But imagine that there's some more complicated assign or you know, computation here or a longer variable name or indentation or all sorts of other stuff that could cause this to be too long in which you would want to split it onto a new line. Uh, I prefer implicit continuation uh, where, well, it's called implicit continuation, but I actually find it a little bit more explicit than backslashes, uh, using parentheses to be a uh, grouping mechanism and inside of a parenthesis all of the new lines are considered as non-statement ending uh, and if you're familiar with the tokenizer uh, the tokenizer will refer to these as nl uh, for these unimportant new lines and then new line for a statement ending new line and the parser tries to differentiate those uh, you probably don't care you probably don't look at the parser but this stuff is interesting to me uh, now there used to be one case, well, I'm not even going to bother because it's not relevant anymore. There is exactly one case in Python where I will use a backslash to escape a new line. And that is, oh, I guess I should talk about one of the other pitfalls with this, which is that if there's white space here, it doesn't work. Uh, it has to be literally right before the new line. If you put a comment here, that's also not going to work. Uh, and so there's a whole bunch of like limitations to the backslash. There's exactly one place where I will use a backslash inside of a uh, inside of source, and that is when doing triple quoted strings. And then first, I'll show you the problem here. Very often, I'm making a triple quoted string to represent the contents of a file or something that I'm going to pass along to the other uh, to something else. And generally, you would think about this as the first line of the string and the second line of the string. However, if we were to run this, python3-it.py, we've got x here, you'll notice that we actually get a new line at the beginning of our string. And of course, we can strip that off by doing lstrip. Uh, lstrip might not be what you want because there could be white space here, so you'd probably want to lstrip just the new line character. Um, but this is you know, annoying and ugly, and we can do better. If you escape the new line at the beginning of a triple quoted string, this means that the first line of the triple coded string will be the first line of your string. Uh, and so this is literally the only place in Python where I will use a backslash, and that is to make triple coded strings nicer. And so you'll see, uh, just, to, just to show that, if we look at x now, you'll see that it no longer starts with a new line. Now, yes, I know, and I showed lstrip, and you can use text wrap to fix that too, but, you know. You don't need special things, don't use special things. Anyway, uh, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, actually, one thing, just use a code for matter. It'll just fix this all for you. Anyway, see ya.